How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. There are some big rumors happening in the background for an ETF approval in crypto, actually Ethereum, next week. And there's some background chatter, too, that people are talking to some of the custodians of these future Bitcoin ETFs. The SEC specifically is trying to communicate and work with them. So we're going to go through that. Also talk about some big new findings in the world and some big news that's happening right now. As you can see, crypto is up. We're going to talk about that. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on that bell notification underneath the video, and let's get into it. So Bitcoin is up over 27,000, up 3.38% here today, Ethereum up 3.9, the whole market up 2.82. So as we continue to watch, uh, we see Bitcoin dominance continuously trending higher, especially when you exclude stable coins. That's really the key because some people are taking profits and moving over to stables. But as we see Bitcoin dominance is getting stronger if you're actually invested into cryptocurrency, not just holding in stables on the sidelines. So this continues to show Bitcoin is probably the way to invest in crypto right now. As we typically see, Bitcoin goes up faster and faster compared to the overall market. And then eventually people take profits on Bitcoin and start to get into riskier assets. Now, that's so interesting to me right now because I, I continuously look at the Bitcoin value of my portfolio, but it's difficult to do that right now, which is why I started something called Bag Tracker AI with Connor Kenny, another YouTuber. Uh, and we are trying to actually build an app. We are building an app right now that puts everything in one place. Your crypto assets, your uh, stocks, your cash, other properties, uh, debt, all that in one specific spot. Instead of putting it on multiple portfolios and what we're going to allow is for you to actually value your portfolio, your crypto portfolio, and your overall net worth in Bitcoin, along with other assets as well. So if you're a big Ethereum bull, if you're a big Cardano bull, you can see how much your portfolio is worth over time in that native value. So we're going to be doing that here um, pretty soon. We're already taking pre-registration. So if you want to check out the link underneath the video, you can just hit pre-register and then it will take you over to Bag Tracker AI, and you'll be able to actually uh, put in your name, email, and give us a suggestion. We've already had over 80 people pre register just in the last 24 hours, and eventually we might have to cut it off the beta access. But for now, if you want to be guaranteed, you can check out this link underneath the video. Now, the market's looking a little bit greener today, but just yesterday, we actually hit extreme fear. And this is for the overall general market, the traditional markets, not just crypto. So if you've been someone that has been a little bit worried recently, I'm not surprised because a lot of people have been. We've seen a lot of sideways action for Bitcoin and crypto. We've seen a lot of red recently in the stock market with, let's just take a look at the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is a decent amount away from the recent high. We were at 420, now we're at 393, down about 6.4%, but a lot of individual stocks are down even more than that. And when we look at this, well, we still haven't hit our previous high of 436. We're down 10% basically over the last two years. So a lot of stocks still significantly off their high. I mean, take a look at Tesla, for example. Tesla is up a lot since it hit about $100 earlier this year, but if we look at the five year, we're still down about 40% from the high. So if you have been shaken out of this market, uh, which you probably haven't if you're still watching this, if you haven't been shaken out of this market, good for you because it has been a long ride. Now, I want to talk about a huge discovery. I want to talk about some Ethereum futures getting approved here very soon and what that could mean for the overall market and some rumblings in the background. Now, before we go any further, I want to take a second to talk about DeFiBot. DeFiBot is building a all-in-one platform, really, where you can get your news, you can trade with AI trading bots, you can also copy trade. So there's a lot to offer. They say, why us? They're a product offering what we all thrive for. And 
that is true financial freedom? The reason we all fell in love with crypto so many years ago, decentralized, pure, and without interference. They say that they have reliable results. They actually have the track record on their website. They have real-time feedback. They have machine learning capabilities that adapt in nanoseconds. Financial security uh, takes self-conscious decisions by analyzing multiple data sources, and they really focus on risk control. So you can sign up give access via API to your account and choose and buy a license. You can also do it for free. So you can try it out, see how you like it. Typically bots are a good way to protect downside because they take profits a little bit more aggressively. You can change how you want it set up, but it is a good way to protect downside uh, in the crypto market, at least for part of your portfolio. Now, this is a partner of the channel, so do your own research. Make sure you're comfortable with this uh, before you put a dollar into it. And they also have, like I said, a news section, which is pretty interesting, where you can look at some of the most used keywords. And thank you to DeFiBot for sponsoring this video. This just hit social media over the last couple of days. Young miners dig up gold nugget that could be worth millions. Now, there's still some question over whether this is legitimate or not, if this was staged, because it, it sounds like it's being reported that these uh, teenagers, these miners didn't have a mining permit, which could be really bad uh, because this rock is worth millions, possibly. Uh, and it's just interesting because we talk about Bitcoin and how scarce it is. We know exactly the amount of Bitcoin that's going to be mined every single day from here till infinity. But we don't know how much gold there's going to be. We don't know how much gold we have already. If the price of gold goes up, well, people are just going to mine more. They're going to build more mining infrastructure. They're going to buy more land. They're going to dig further. And they're going to find more gold until the value comes back down because they'll find more. There's going to be more out there. Also, we know that there are certain asteroids or rocks out in space that are literally worth trillions of dollars. Just the metal alone is worth trillions at today's market prices here. So we know that those are not scarce outside in the universe. So people treat them like they're scarce, but really programmable programmable scarcity is what is scarce. And that's what provides people so much value with their Bitcoin that they own. So pay attention to that. As time goes on, we continue to see more and more people dig up large amounts of gold and other uh, other resources. Some big news for Ethereum investors. Ethereum futures ETFs could start trading next week, according to a Bloomberg analyst. An impending U.S. government shutdown may be accelerating the launch of Ether future ETFs. They say, looking like the SEC is going to let a bunch of Ethereum futures ETFs go next week, potentially. So uh, this is interesting. You see Ethereum outpace Bitcoin here today. When we compare it to everything else in the top 10, the only other thing that's outpacing Bitcoin is Solana. So I think this is pushing Ethereum a little bit now. Now, last time that Cointelegraph reported that Ether futures ETFs may be approved, it caused an 11% spike in Ethereum prices back in August. But uh, it doesn't really seem like it's going to be that important because they're futures ETFs. Everyone's waiting for the spot ETFs. Now, there are still some rumblings of spot ETFs. They say uh, if SEC is allowing ETH futures ETFs to launch, you have to assume forcing closure delisting of Bitcoin futures ETFs is off the table. And then Eric Balkanis who works for Bloomberg, says there's chatter that SEC reached out to the issuers, which have never happened before in the process, to likely go over uh, some plumbing issues. Good news, in my opinion, versus the same old, same old delay, radio silence and denial in January because of some kind of custody issues or something else. So could be good news coming in a few months for Bitcoin holders. And I do believe that the SEC is likely to approve the spot ETF. I don't think that they can uh, all out deny all of them, especially with so many big institutions coming into the space, with so many companies willing to fight the SEC in court. I don't think that they're going to continue to, I don't think that they're going to not deny them. I think they'll just continue to push them off further and further. Last thing I want to cover, luxury car maker Bugatti officially launches Bitcoin Ordinals Collection. Bugatti, obviously, 
one of the most expensive cars out there, one of the most rare, uh, costing over a million dollars, sometimes two, three, four million dollars for one car. Obviously, a little bit bullish. Big brands getting into crypto is always bullish. Now, let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Again, you can check out Bag Tracker AI and DeFi Bot as well underneath the video. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.